Hey everyone, and welcome back to Splatoon 3. Last time we um we started the second area of the game, the cozy and safe factory. Well, we started the second area of the story mode. That's just about it. Now we are gonna move fight what is likely the first boss here. But first... We're gonna go to a level that I had previously missed. So um, there isn't anything I have to say. Just feel free to like, subscribe, and share this with your friends. And without further ado, let's go into Tread Heaven. Slow, but oh, wait. did I miss something? Oh. Okay, is that gonna open? Destroy it. Um, yeah, that happens. Okay. Not sure how I feel about this special compared to the rest. Not sure how I feel about this one. It might take a while to get used to, but okay, we can just go up here. nearly um being put in a life or death situation. Okay. There we go. Now we have to make it all the way back up there.
well the arms are on. Okay. I like I like how this special does that. Okay. And that's it. Alright. Now I don't know if there's another level here. I mean, there were ten in the other one. Did I miss anything? Because I just think it's a little strange. Destroy that. I'm pretty sure that was the last one, but I almost feel like we may or may have not missed one. Let me destroy that. And then I'll destroy this. Oh, got some more cards. Alright. And some of that. Well then, let's just go up here. The future stares back. This must be a boss or something. It seems like it might be a boss. Fry, you're pretty tough, I can tell. How about this? You call it quits, join my crew, and we split the treasure. And you want to resolve this Flatland style, huh? Fine by me. Dance battle to the death. Okay. Okay. So we basically got the Octo Stop. Okay. I see what we need to do already. Okay. So this is more or less a creative version of the um of the Octo Stomp fight. And she literally just died. Alright.
I need my armor back. I need my armor quickly. Okay, she went back to where um the the first version of this. Okay. That's kind of cheating. I need my armor, thank you. Okay. Now you're dead again. Okay. What the? Okay. Okay. Well, just watch out for where they... They are coming this way. Okay. Hundred. Oh, this again. All right. Are you gonna do that spin? More right. Oh, that again. I need my armor quickly. Thank you. Alright. You've been mixing it up. Oh no, not the whirlpool again. Alright. Oh, about time. Now let's get up there before she changes her mind. And she's done. You're way stronger than you look. But you haven't heard the last of Deep Cut. But you'll miss me. Did she just pull a Team Rocket on us? Alright. I gotta say... I really like what they've done with the idols in the story mode. Throw each of the like throw each of the Splatoon games. Like um let me pause for a minute. Like in the first game, Callie and Marie were basically agents. Nothing more, nothing less. In Splatoon 2 story mode, Callie was apparent Callie took over Cuttlefish's role and I mean, Marie took over Callie's... Marie took over Cuttlefish's role. Callie was mind-controlled by Octavio. Octo Expansion, Pearl and Marina basically took the same role Callie and Marie had in Splatoon 1. Now Splatoon 3, Callie and Marie are agents again, and Deep Cut are apparently the villains. 
And then there's Pearl and Marie, Marina that basically decided um to form a band. Anyway, let's go and get whatever this is. 